discuss about what is a photodiode and what are the different types of photodiode we have already discussed about pn photodiode today i'll be discussing about pin photodiode here from the name itself you can see it is pin photodiode here this p stands for positive i stands for intrinsic n stands for negative so it is a photodiode where we are having three regions one is positive one is intrinsic and one region is negative that means there there are three regions available in the photodiode one is p type one is intrinsic in, in nature and the third one is n type in nature so a diode with a wide intrinsic semiconductor region between heavily doped p type and n type semiconductor region is known as a pin photodiode the cross sectional view looks like this this first region is p plus in nature that is heavily doped p type material the middle one is intrinsic in nature which is undoped or very lightly doped and the third region is n type in its nature and it is again heavily doped so these are the three regions in a pin photodiode now coming to the construction or structure of pin photodiode first there is a n type material over this there is intrinsic material and within that a p type material is diffused into this intrinsic region so we got a p plus region an intrinsic region and an n plus region now metal contacts are provided for connecting the device this is from the p side this is the metal contact and and this silicon dioxide that one is acting as a insulating material that will insulate this metal contact from this intrinsic region similarly this one is also connected to the p side we have one more metal contact from the n side so one is coming from p side and then the other one is coming from n side right further at this window region an anti reflecting coating is provided to get more absorption of incident light if you can recall in p n photodiode this intrinsic layer was not there simply p plus and n plus region were there now what is the advantage of putting this intrinsic layer over here by putting this intrinsic layer the depletion region extends well into the intrinsic region which leads to increase in width of the depletion region this is the main advantage here we are getting a more wide depletion region because this intrinsic region is lightly doped and we know that the depletion region enters more into the region where the doping is less so here what happens it the depletion region extends more into this intrinsic region thus by this mechanism we are getting the width of the depletion region is much larger as compared to that of the pin photodiode and we know that the photocurrent depends on the width of the depletion region if we are getting a wider depletion region that means we will be getting a larger photocurrent right now the materials used for making this pin photodiode are silicon indium gallium arsenide germanium gallium arsenide etc these are basically direct band gap materials so this is the structure only difference is here is that we are putting an intrinsic region over here now let us look into the operation of pin photodiode this pin photodiode generally operates by applying a reverse bias voltage so let us see what happens when we are applying a reverse bias voltage so this is our pin photodiode this is p type n type and intrinsic region 
now we are applying a reverse bias reverse bias means this p type should be connected to the negative terminal of the source and n type should be connected to the positive terminal right so this is the connection p type is connected to the negative terminal and n type is connected to the positive terminal here this rl is the load resistance through which we will be taking the output now what happens when we are applying this reverse bias over here as the resistance of the intrinsic region is very high largest part of the applied bias that drops across this intrinsic region so here we will be getting a negative potential and at this side we will be getting a positive potential this side it is negative here it is positive this is negative and positive okay so a large part of the applied bias that drops across this intrinsic region now under this condition if light is being incident on the photodiode that will pass through this p type region and basically it hits the intrinsic region and if the energy of this photons are more than the energy gap of the material then electron hole pairs will be generated so by incidenting radiations for which the energy is more than the energy gap of the material we are getting electron hole pairs in the intrinsic region now here we have seen that there is a potential difference this side is positive and this side is negative and these are the charge carriers and if this side is positive and this side is negative what will happens to this carriers so the electrons they are moving towards n side of the photodiode and holes they are moving towards the p side of the photodiode now if these free carriers are moving and after crossing this one they will move to this direction because this is positive right here also they will move towards this that means carriers are moving through the circuit if carriers are moving definitely a current will be generated right thus a current flows between p region and n region of the diode now we'll have to see what is the direction if electron is moving in this direction definitely the current will be in the opposite direction so it is going this way right so here this is the direction of the current and i have written it as ip because this is the photo current okay so this gives us the direction of the current through the circuit and we are taking the output across this load resistance so here we are taking the output further the amplitude or the amount of current that varies directly with the intensity of the incident light because if intensity will be more then more number of electron hole pairs will be generated that means we will be getting more number of carriers and that leads to higher current so current is directly proportional to the intensity of the incident light now let us discuss about some of the advantages of pin photodiode in the exam you may get a question like write some of the characteristics of pin photodiode there also you can write some of these points okay now what are the advantages of pin photodiode the depletion layer extends throughout the intrinsic region resulting higher absorption of incident light we have seen that in case of pin photodiode the depletion layer that extends or covers mostly the whole intrinsic region because of this we are getting higher absorption of incident light and that leads to high photo current under forward bias it behaves like a variable resistor further pin photodiodes have high responsivity and quantum efficiency we know that the responsivity is the ratio between generated photo current and incident power right and if the photo current is high that gives us high responsivity and quantum efficiency is directly proportional to responsivity if we are getting high responsivity that means definitely we will be getting 
ஹை குவாண்டம் எஃபிஷியன்சி ஹையர் டிடெக்ஷன் பேண்ட் வித் திஸ் மீன்ஸ் திஸ் பீன் ஃபோட்டோடயோட்ஸ் தே கேன் டிடெக்ட் ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் வித் ஏ வைடர் ரேஞ்ச் ஆஃப் வேவ் லென்த் ஹை ரிவர்ஸ் பிரேக் டவுன் வோல்டேஜ் ஃபோட்டோடயோட்ஸ் ஜென்ரலி தே ஆப்ரேட் in the reverse bias condition and we know that if we will increase the reverse voltage or reverse bias then at a certain value the diode will break down and in case of pin photodiode that reverse breakdown voltage is high the leakage current or dark current is less in case of pin photodiode what is this dark current or leakage current this is the current which flows through the device when no incident light is being incident on the photodiode and this dark current or leakage current that leads to noise in the device if this is less that means we are getting less noise so noise level is less in case of pin photodiode further it has low junction capacitance and low bias voltage is required to operate the pin photodiode now coming to the applications of pin photodiode these pin photodiodes are applicable in many fields few of the applications are this are used as photo detectors this can be used as high voltage rectifier it is also useful in radio frequency and microwave variable attenuators radio frequency and microwave switches further it is very much useful in case of optical fiber communication which is a advanced communication system nowadays these are also useful in case of medical treatment like mri and these are used to detect x rays and gamma ray photons so these are some of the applications of pin photodiode today we will stop here if you like the content of the video please press the like button and share the link with your friends further subscribe to my channel to get the notifications whenever i am uploading a new video thank you all